Ralph Klein never held federal office, but he was a strong figure in Ottawa nonetheless. Our senior correspondent, Terry Malevsky, has that for us tonight. Terry. Well, Wendy, Ralph Klein, to put it mildly, was not a big fan of Ottawa. He did not like the federal government poking its nose in Alberta's affairs. And he had a way of making himself quite clear about that. Don't worry, uh, Canadians, be happy. The uh, big brother in Ottawa is going to look after you. Well, that is a crock, to say the least. Now, that was Ralph talking about the Kyoto Accord, but it could have been health care or many other issues. He was not mealy-mouthed, trying to please everyone. Thinking outside the box is not a crime. Hey, guys. Good morning. And he did think outside the box. For example, he didn't think that more federal cash would fix health care. It's nice to get money, but it's just going to go into a big black hole. Klein wanted more private care, but he didn't turn down the federal money. He just didn't like the strings attached. They shouldn't be telling us how to run our health care system. That is our constitutional responsibility and authority. It's as simple as that. That plain-spoken Ralph was the one everyone remembered today. Prime Minister Stephen Harper said to me he wasn't King Ralph, as some described him. Instead, during a colourful political career, he remained Citizen Ralph, a man equally at home in the Petroleum Club as he was in the St. Louis Hotel. Opposition leader Tom Mulcair said Klein should be remembered and honoured for his public service. Everyone appreciated his passion for the province of Alberta. And Liberal leader Bob Ray added Ralph could walk with kings and the common man. One cannot help but admire his incomparable ability to communicate and connect with Albertans. But it wasn't just Albertans. Former Prime Minister Paul Martin, certainly not a political ally, said that Klein spoke up for the national interest on issues like the Canada Pension Plan and equalization payments. Alberta was a major contributor, and yet he never begrudged it. And he was always very, very constructive. Another political veteran, Preston Manning, the founder of the Reform Party, was one of many who focused on Klein's strong connection with the common man. No matter the issue, said Manning, Klein always wanted to know what Martha and Henry, his fictional average Albertans, would think about it. Wendy. Thanks so much, Terry. Terry Malewski tonight.